Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm not reviewing anything. This is the third video in my series of Steve's Best Ever. I don't know what it's called yet, but Steve's, <laughs> Steve's favourite or my favourite or the top five. They're good. It's always good to put that, isn't it? Uh, Steve's top five, I'll get there in the end, uh, Naki card moves. Because I love a Naki card move. and I just, these are the moves that I use all the time and just... When I talk about Naki, what I mean, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, is that for some reason they're difficult and you don't know why. You, you just, it seems like, well, my hands are doing that, that's doing that. Why isn't it going together? And as with so many moves, all of a sudden it clicks and it's, you still don't know why, which is grossly frustrating. Uh, this is a bit of a surprising one, but it's, it's, I remember this is probably the first time I experienced this. It's the thumb fan, all right? Bear with me, I know a lot of you can do it, but I think it, the learning from learning that has or what I learned from learning that, said learning way too much in that sentence, uh, was, were things that had transferred me to other learning, which I'll explain about in a minute. But before I do that, please can you check out onlinemagic.co. Everybody's raving about it. Everybody loves it. I've been doing this course. It used to be cardmagiccourse.com, and now there's loads more on it. My lecture, 93 at time of recording live sessions. Uh, we had David Williamson a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we've had Luch on there. It's mentalism. I'm just about to record a sponge ball uh, course. I'm putting a rope magic course in it. I'm a busy boy, but I absolutely love it. My life's work is now going into this course, and I couldn't think of anything more lovely uh, to share everything I know. So I'll be doing that, and what other people know, of course. Uh, and I'm going to read you, rather than go on about how good it is, which I already have, so it's a bit late for that. Uh, I'm going to read one of my Trustpilot reviews. So uh, we get people reviewing on Trustpilot. Uh, these aren't people I've kind of, uh, my mates. These are people that are genuine users of the course. Uh, Peter says, absolutely excellent. Above and beyond my expectations, the comprehensive course is taught meticulously and with great clarity. I'm really glad about that because that's my goal. I have looked at other courses available in the genre and none come anywhere near this one for quality or content. The best value for money course of its type. There you go. Thanks, Peter. And uh, yeah, don't listen to me, listen to him. Go and have a look. Uh, onlinemagic.co. Right. So, oh, and what I keep forgetting to mention is a lot of these uh, videos that I'm going to be doing now are inspired by questions on social media. So this was inspired by a question on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I've got loads, but just go to at uh, SF, like Steve Faulkner, online magic. Follow me on Instagram there and you can ask me questions by DMing me and I'll bring them onto the show. Uh, which I think is great because it means I don't have to think about content. It means I can actually do content that I know, for example, uh, for a fact, is going to help someone rather than me just guessing on whether it will help someone. God, I can't talk today, can I? Uh, but that's all right. Uh, we'll get on and I'll try my best to talk now. So the Fun Fam. It, this is one of the first card moves I learned where I remember the frustration, and I remember it now because I still feel that frustration with so well, that I have done with all these moves actually, is that I'm, I can't think of anything else I can change. I'm holding the pack where the book, in this case, I think it was probably Jobby's Card College, exactly where it's telling me to hold it. I'm doing exactly with this thumb at one, doing the pressure seems all right, I'm not gripping it anywhere else, and it's just looking awful. And I remember one day just going, bring, oh, right, what was, I want, and I still don't know what I changed. Now, obviously, you know, what happens is the, the brain kicks in and starts making micro adjustments on its own, which I think sometimes the learning from this to me is not to get fr frustrated, to understand that even if you can't see what you're doing wrong, there'll be something, and sometimes the brain just works it out. And I found this with a lot of tricks that I can't, master i can't quite get them i do sometimes overthink them i think a lot of the time we can just go let's just keep practicing put some music on chill out and go through the motions now that doesn't always work sometimes it is good to kind of look at it and go okay if i move that finger there and that but sometimes that there seems to be nothing else you can do and i remember just it just came and i think it's a really important move to know actually i think it's still one of those things that when i Get a card chosen. Sometimes I want to do it in a more messy way because I don't want to give away this thing that I'm decent with a deck of cards. But if I want to win people over quickly and I don't want them to think I'm just some idiot that knows a couple of card tricks, and I'm not saying <laughs> that if you just know a couple of card tricks, you're an idiot. But if you're charging money and going out as a professional magician, you should know more than a couple of card tricks. But what I'm saying is that they still might have 
uh, and idea of magicians that they might think I'm an idiot and has a couple of card tricks. Uh, yeah, I probably explained myself a little bit too much there. Protested a little bit, tiny too much, a bit too much. But I want I want them to take me seriously. So if if I think they're going to be a bit more hard work, I will do a really nice fan or a pull spread or something like that that just makes them go, oh, he knows what he's doing. And a really nice thumb fan or a pressure fan, but I tend to be better at the thumb fan fan is one of those moves that I think just. It, there's a real beauty to it. Even now when I see a good one, I go, oh, God, it's lovely, isn't it? It's just so magical. And it seems to, even though it's a flourish, there is a kind of magical feel to it. It's like you've got a deck of cards and all of a sudden you've created this, this beautiful kind of flower from them. I think it's, it's just a lovely thing. And if you're just starting out in magic, something you may not in, originally want to put the time into, but I think it's really worth it. And it teaches you kind of a delicacy. And as I say, it taught me to not get frustrated and, and understand that sometimes the brain's a very clever thing, even mine, and it kind of sorts out the problems for you if you just relax, practice mindfully, and enjoy yourself. Now, I do cover the fun fan on onlinemagic.co, but you can learn it in loads of places, and uh, if you want to do that, do check out the site, but ask any questions you want. As I say, SF Online Magic on Instagram and Facebook, and you can ask me any questions there, but, uh, but good luck with that. Um, I mean good luck with that in a good way. I don't mean good luck with that because I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean good luck with the thumb fan if you're learning it. Oh, shut up now. All right, take care. See you later.